Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walker Faith. Happy New Year. It is January 5th. It's Tuesday. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. Are you ready to start 2021? Same book, as I said. Genuine Faith. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And that's Isaiah. Many people who think they have faith in God are actually dominated by fears and doubts, overwhelmed by the circumstances of their lives, are you? What is it that makes you anxious today? Is there something you fear you'll never achieve or receive? Understand genuine faith means realizing God wants to provide his very best for you and will not let you miss it as you walk with him. That's from Hebrews. True, sometimes what he perceives as best for you is different from what you do. But take heart, the one who created you ultimately knows what will truly satisfy your soul even better than you do. So let go of whatever you fear you will never have or accomplish. He's faithful to provide. And if God does not give you what your heart presently desires, it is because he has something far better planned for you. Lord, I trust you will provide your very best for me. You are my delight. Thank you for fulfilling the deepest desire of my heart. <clears throat> Amen. In his presence, he reveals life at his very best. So, <clears throat> Excuse me. Very interesting, you know, honestly, thinking about that today, you know, because 2021 is here. And just like most of us, we think that the minute we turn that page, that life is going to be different. And we see that life hasn't really changed at all. Right. And it's sort of funny because I'm thinking to myself, oh, we're in 2021, but I don't feel like anything has changed. And then we make all these resolutions and all these deals with God saying, God, OK, this is what I want to accomplish. And because we are living in these really uncertain times and we're living in the pandemic and it's not about us, it's about what God has called us to do. So we start to make deals and these and sort of a list of this is what I want to want to accomplish. But as it says here, genuine faith, you know, if things don't work out, if doors don't open or if opportunities don't come just because we want them, just because we feel that we this is what we need doesn't mean that this is what God has called us to do. And when an opportunity, maybe door closes or something doesn't happen the way that we sort of anticipate or the way that we sort of agreed with with God, it doesn't mean that God is not for us. It just means that something better is on its way. Or maybe God protected us from an opportunity that we thought was the right one, but in actuality, it wasn't. So what you need to do during those times is when you doubt, when you have fear, stop and ask yourself a question. Do I truly trust God? Because all of that, all of that anxiousness, all of that fear, all of that doubt comes from the lack of trust in God. So it's easy to say, difficult to do. So what I want you to do is purchase this book. And like I said, I do not get anything from it. Purchase it, follow along, or just read it on your own. It has changed my life, and I guarantee it will change yours. Until next time, always remember, you have the ability to inspire and evangelize the words and actions. God bless you, and happy 2021.